Mom, what are you doing here? I tried your apartment, but you weren't there. I figured this was a safe number two. Have you eaten? Yeah, on Tuesday. He knew right from the start what you were going to become, you know. You've been fencing here for less than a year, and he told me, B rating, Junior Olympics, NCAA, if she wants it. I didn't want it. I never said you did. I just wanted to see you happy and find something you liked. Mom, thank you for the casserole. It was really sweet of you, really. Um, but if there's something you're trying to get across, might as well just streamline it. You're going to do it, aren't you? <laughs> so you've been talking to Christian then. Did you ever stop? I don't know, Mom, it's, it's a business. It's not just teaching Perry repos and inspiring pep talks. There's insurance and taxes. And if a kid stabs their eye out, who do the parents sue? And then there's tournaments. Getting these kids to where they can compete at levels I only barely achieved. You could figure that all out along the way. What do you want to do? It's not just about what I want. Isn't it? It's about them. The kids who show up wide eye on their first day having no idea where they are because this place is so different from anything they've seen before. And then they pick up a foil for the first time. And it's like an electric shock that passes through their entire body. That realization right at the pit of, of being there that this is something they could be good at, great at. And that's what everyone wants, really, to be great at something. And one day you blink and they're grown two feet and they've headed off to college and they've got C and B ratings and titles and accolades and confidence. Because there's someone now, they're athletes, stars, fighters, and they carry that forward the rest of their life. You take this place away, you take all of that with it. Then it sounds like you need to know exactly what you need to do.